Now you see us rushing to a 13 course degustation menu in uh, Astrid with I uh, and, Gaston. and Gaston. And we have about what, 25 minutes to walk 3 kilometers. So hopefully we'll make it because they keep the reservation only for 10 minutes. Because it's the 33... 30, 30, <laughs> 33rd best restaurant in the world. Because this is a very special occasion. Veronica even put the makeup on for the first time on this trip. So in two months... And shaved her legs! And even shaved her legs, ooh! I don't know if she's going to, I don't know, eat with the legs. And I, on the other hand, I'm wearing first time this amazing tuna shirt, no, penguin shirt. Looks like we made it. If you see that villa down over there, that's where we're going. There is a list of top 50 restaurants in the world and there are three in Lima. We were lucky enough to secure um, a booking in one of them, Astrid and Gaston. And we are so happy, we are present ourselves completely. What you see from the Veronica, that's actually just a wine list. Oh, I was lying, it is actually 16 course tasting menu and we don't know what we are getting and we ordered some matching wines with it first course we have some potato some empanada filled with lamb and the third thing i don't remember what it was brioche, brioche. with sea urchin scallop with ice This scallop actually tastes a little bit like a, a scallop ice cream, kind of fishy <laughs> and cold, but nice. This course and the previous one was served with the Sauvignon Blanc from Chile, uh, from San Pedro. If I'm not mistaken, I probably I am. But uh, yeah, Antonio Valley. Antonio Valley, uh, so close enough. It is somewhere next, uh, close to the coast, apparently. There's like six types of bread with some butter, some tomato thing, and guacamole. And I don't remember what this was. The first one we have uh, some sort of a, like a sordo bread with amazing a uh, white butter with a special salt from uh, Cusco where there are uh, like the salt mines with this salt look at that as she takes a bite look at that <laughs> oh yeah it's amazing uh, tomato smoky taste it's just so good Slides Carlo with edible flowers and some other sauce which I don't remember. Accompanied with a blonde blonde original French champagne. But now we're getting to the Pui, aka guinea pig, which is made in a way as the baking that pancakes used to be or are. Uh, <laughs> Yes, and that is, and it's accompanied with this Argentinian Argentinian quinoa. Oh yeah, it has a crispy skin on top of it. Really kind of tastes it actually as a pecking duck. Um, so sweet, like a little bit sweet and tasty, I guess. Veronica is just polishing the serving stone, <laughs> saying that... You're done, you're finished, no more sharing with you, brother. 
this little thing here. It really tastes a little bit uh, like Asian food. The pork is really nice and juicy and, and fat. And it's just so good. Another course of wine coming in. Uh, there he is, the sommelier. Well, well we, will uh, we will continue with this uh, good concept of orange wine, uh, elaborated by winemaker Maria Pia Castel. Estela Flora Winery is from Market Region, center of Italy. And what we have it with is a dumpling, uh, which apparently is uh, filled up with the meat, and it's a typical Japanese style. This is kind of interesting that we switched from the red back to guess what? Why? Orange. Ah, pardon me, orange. And it is getting better and better. Uh, so the meat I mentioned in the dumpling is actually beef, which is really weird with the white wine, but it tastes so delicious. Uh, that wine is super oaky and that bowl is super empty. The soup had a really uh, strong like a pea and a corn taste. Uh, I would uh, say it's like a corn puree and very delicious, uh, mixed with uh, fresh cream, I would say, but I don't know how they cooked it. Gnocchi. With scallop. This with is the scallop. first scallop. First scallop in the series. It smells like a soupy corn, a little bit uh, like corn or cannellini beans. fish, uh, preferably made with a taco and this is a really oaky uh, white wine from where? Uh, French, French. I'm just waiting uh, when she drops her face in the plate because she's ready to go to bed and we still have like five courses to go Seven! Uh, Seven! God bless America, <laughs> South America I mean. not Trump America Yeah, but there is the taco There is Veronica <laughs> Stuffing it Ah, Jesus Here we are And she already offering me the food Okay, well Yeah Finally, I get beat. Fed? Yeah, I got fed. That's what I meant. Uh, rabbit with the sauce and quinoa to accompany the sauce. Oh, yeah. Total India. Because they're super curry with lemon and uh, chili. Oh, and quinoa. The last of the salty ones, the beef with the 30 year old sherry. Oh, yeah. Spain, Andalusia. So if you know a slow cook uh, beef, look at this. Ice cream with what it was? Nobody knows. Guacaina. Guacaina, whatever that means. And he spilled some sweet syrup over it. But we have it with Tokai wine, which comes from Tokai region, which lays out on a southern border of Slovakia with northern border of Hungary. 
so yeah, taste of home. Sleeping Veronica. Yes, it's very really disappointing tonight. Because I was expecting active company. Uh, we have some finger food here. Uh, something something with quinoa, with chocolate and carrot. Carrot. And olives. And olives. There we go. Enjoy. Ready uh, to try? <laughs> Fireworks. <laughs> it's like when you were a child and you bought this lollipop that you would lick and then put in the sack full of something and then it was like popping in your mouth. So it's popping. And here we go. Four hours later, on the same steps. Uh, I got fed a little bit. Veronica didn't enjoy herself because she's what? Sleepy? No, I did enjoy myself, but after sixth course I was just so full and now I'm really sleepy and the last nine courses were just too much. I'm not what I used to be anymore. Yeah, luckily I could eat after her and uh, so I'm not hungry anymore. But I would could easily manage another four or five courses. And, curses. Uh, curses. I curse you. Is that enough? <laughs> and way more wine, actually. That was a little bit of a disappointment. I was expecting to be drunk by now. I am drunk. I'm not. Um, look at me. I can drive. <laughs> We've never been this highly rated uh, restaurant before. The food was pretty good. Uh, oh, food all was the, amazing! Uh, what are you talking about? That was scallop three times on the menu. Come on! Out of and, 16! <laughs> yeah, you have no, no, nothing else to serve. Now the beef was awesome, the ceviche was awesome, desert was average, uh, the kui was awesome, although it was like duck, <laughs> so I don't know what to think about that. And. Yeah, it, but it wasn't really outstanding and honestly the service wasn't good at all like okay it was like average Buenas noches. Buenas noches. they didn't even know what to do so Martin is actually referring to the point that he had to wait for 12 minutes without having a full glass of alcohol okay 12 minutes I was there for 40 minutes till they served the first course and the wine didn't work. Obviously. <laughs> it was totally broken. <laughs>